Hello Python programmers. So this is gonna be a really fun video and in this video I'm gonna show you that how you can beautify your Kinta GUI. Now the result that we are gonna create in this video will be popping up on your screen. Now this result is from future. Now why am I saying that? So I'm going for this video totally blind. I have no pre-written codes. Uh, I have nothing in my mind. I just have an idea of how the project will look and I will just go with my instinct. Okay, there's no pre-written code. So this is gonna be somewhat like live coding. Okay, so before starting, I want to discuss a few things with my regular audience. Now, if you want to skip straight away to the tutorial, the timestamp will be popping up on your screen. You can straight away uh, skip to the tutorial, but if you want to listen, then you can save. So first thing, from now onwards, we'll try to have a more object-oriented approach to our projects okay so the naming convention of the variables will be proper we'll either be using the pascal case or the camel casing okay we'll be using classes and objects very often okay if it's a really small project like one or two line then we'll create function for that because it's useless to create class for that okay and yeah this was the first thing that i want to discuss and the second thing is I very often see uh, many YouTubers say that uh, the 50% of viewers watching this video haven't subscribed or haven't liked so they usually show these stats and I was like okay maybe but when I saw my stats then I was really amazed now let me show you let me really show you my stats okay so these are my stats 92% of you are not subscribed. Now, this is really horrendous. Uh, so, if you really like, then you can consider subscribing because, uh, you know, YouTube's algorithm promotes the content if the user likes it or subscribes it or it comments or shares. So, recently, I saw that my uh, my videos were not performing very good. So, I was thinking that that what is the probable reason for that now I think this is the probable reason because this is how the YouTube algorithm works they count these factors like uh, likes and comments and how many people subscribe so these may be the reason if you like then you can subscribe if you want and if you don't then make a dislike okay so these were the two things that I want to discuss and let's move ahead with this video. Okay, so we don't need any external package required for this project. We only need Kinta, which comes be installed with vanilla Python installation. So we'll quickly import it. Okay, now let's create the class in which we'll have all our code written. Okay, so let's say we create the class login. Okay, and we are passing TK inside. Just give me a few seconds, then I'll explain you. Then what we'll do is we'll initiate our uh, class or we'll write the constructor. So uh, init self. Okay. So uh, let's leave this for a second and let's create the condition that will actually execute this class. So as soon as the program uh, is executed, uh, this class will be called. Okay. So we are writing uh, name here and then what we'll do is we'll call uh, let's say a uh, login variable we are creating uh, the instance of this login class okay and then what we'll do is we are having nothing inside so uh, yeah okay so let's write something inside our constructor so what we're gonna do is first of all what we'll do is we'll assign uh, the tk method uh, to self now previously when we used to create the kinta window we used to assign a variable let's say root or window but here what we'll do is we'll assign the self as that variable okay so wherever we are using self we are referring to the kinta tk instance okay 
okay so this is how you can assign it to super then what we'll do is we'll specify that what will be the geometry of of our kinter gui okay uh geometry now let's say i want this of uh let's say 700 by 500 this is a good triangle uh gui okay now before moving ahead let's have a idea of what i'm gonna create so what i'll do is i'll open paint here and let's draw a gui that is inside my mind so what we'll do is okay so this is not we'll create okay so um, we'll create a login page okay a rectangular gui which will have something written here let's say login then it will have username and password written here and then the entry box here and here also then it will have a button here to be pressed after the id and password are entered and then we'll have uh, three buttons that are the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram button. You can sign in using the Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, or any social media. Okay, so this is the idea of the GUI that I am having. So let's move ahead with this idea. So yeah, we have specified the geometry. Now what I'll do is, uh, I'll write the sizable self dot resizable uh, false and false. Now what this will do is uh, it will disable the resizing of our Kinter GUI. Okay. Now this is very important because we are placing our uh, labels and all the widgets at a specific position. Now if user is free to resize it, then our whole GUI will be mess okay and we don't want that okay so uh we are writing the resizable as false for both height and width uh, then what we'll do is we'll create different methods for different uh, widgets let's say we have a method for label okay so uh yeah now let me call the method of label here also so login was the variable name and login dot label label okay now let's try something inside and let's run our program uh, let's write something random here and then what we'll do is we'll also uh, close the main loop so login uh, yeah login dot main loop Let's save this. Let's run our program. And uh, definitely, we are having an error because I made a typo here. Main. Okay, so yeah, our GI is working fine. Our labels um, method is also called. Okay, so let's move ahead with our label. So we want three labels basically, right? The first label is the heading. Uh, the second and third label are username and password so we're gonna create uh, three labels and also we want an image so i already have a image uh, downloaded so this is the image now i'll show you that how you can resize an image according to your gui so if you're using windows then select the image then mouse right click and click on edit okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize it to uh, let's say what was the height and width of a Kinter GUI 700 by 500 right so 700 by 500 okay so this is the size okay let's save our image let's go back and what we'll do is we'll create a self uh, dot background variable now we'll be using the camel casing uh, ground uh, we'll be using the camel casing for this project okay uh, background image now let me write then i'll explain you that what is happening okay okay so now let's save this now let's run our program let me first uh, execute this then i'll explain okay so um, 
typo again image okay so yeah this is our perfect gui okay so now let me explain you that what code i have written here so we have used this photo image class of our kinter to load the image so image is loaded and save in this background image variable then we have created a label and instead of uh, passing any text what we have done is we have passed this image okay and then we have placed it at 0 comma 0 which is the starting point of our kinter gui okay so now let's create our other two um, labels which are username and password and what i'm thinking is instead of uh, just uh, writing the username and password on the image what we can do is we can uh, add a white block in here just like a white rectangle box and then we can write the username and password inside that block okay so yeah let's do that first so for that we are going to use the canvas of kin term so let's move ahead okay so now let's try this uh now this is very ugly looking this is very ugly looking actually uh the width is good but the height is uh very much so let's decrease the height uh let's try 350 so i'm gonna hit and try uh 350 is uh good i guess this is good we can decrease a little bit more let's say 330 uh yeah Actually, we'll be having the username here, then the password here, then the button, and our three social media platform uh, buttons also. Okay, so yeah, I guess this is okay. So let's move ahead and uh, let's create our remaining three uh, labels that is uh, the heading, the username, and the password. Okay, so let me create them real quick. okay so now i guess our labels look good so now let me explain you that what is happening here so we have created these three variables title username and password so first of all what we'll do is we'll use this label class of kinter and first parameter is the kinter instance here it is self then we have the text which is login here username here and password here then we have fonts so there are many fonts in Kinter. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just show you a TXT file that is having all the fonts that are present in Kinter. So just a second. So yeah, this is the font family of Kinter. I'll provide this uh, text file in the GitHub repository and the source code will also be present there. Okay. So uh, yeah, you can specify that what font family you want then you can specify the size and then we also have a third parameter that is whether you want it to be bold whether you want it to be uh, let's say italic or uh, stricken in between there are many things that you can do with a label okay so yeah these were the parameters here then we are placing our kinter label on our uh, gui uh, for title we are placing it at 300 of x and y of 80 and for username 200 150 and for password 200 and 200 okay so now let's create uh, the method so that we can uh, insert our entry box okay so just after uh, now let me show you once again that how our gui is looking uh, just a second uh, yeah so this is our GUI. We have these two labels. Actually, we can decrease somewhat the width here. Okay, or move it back. Okay. So yeah, we want to add the entry box just uh, after our username and password. Okay. So I'll play along with this afterwards. So uh, we'll create the method uh, not here. Okay. So method entry. Let's say. Uh, method entry 
and then we are passing this self here okay now let's uh, call this method inside so login dot entry okay so yeah now let's create our entry widgets let me write first then i'll explain you okay so now we have created our user input also for the username and password now i have used these two methods text and entry here so that i can show you how both of them work okay so this is our output actually and you can see that nothing much is different here but there are a few differences like entry widget is more customizable there are more chances of customizing you can uh, you can specify that what text will be shown to the user like if i run this program and if i write the text it is clearly visible to you but if i write in password nothing is visible because i have specified this show is equal to star here so that the password is not visible to uh, someone sitting in front okay and then also the height adjustment is having a wide variety like if i increase this to 2 you can see that the width of the text box has increased to a very large extent so text box is usually used to create big text boxes and entry widget is basically used to create a uh, small entry uh, widgets okay so but you can use both of them they both are uh somewhat the same with just a few differences okay so now let's create our third uh widget the third type of widget which is our buttons so we have four buttons first is uh the login button that will just be present below password and then the three social media platform buttons okay so uh once again self inside uh let's go all the way down and call uh our method inside here okay uh login dot button okay so now let me create the button once again and explain you that how they work okay so now i guess this looks good okay you can customize the size of the uh, button i have already shown you that how i can edit or resize the uh, image okay now let me explain you that what is happening here once again we have used this photo image class of kinter to uh, load the image that is button.png i'll provide these images in uh, the github repository okay and uh, yep we have loaded the image and saved this into this login button image variable and then we have used this button class to create the button instead of text we have used this button image and then the command is self dot login which is a function that we have created here and then we have specified that we don't want any border okay as in we are using the image so we don't want any border if you want a thick border then you can increase the border uh, width okay and then we have placed our button at this position this is totally hit and shy okay now let me do the same things for our social media buttons also okay so now i guess this looks good but actually this is not looking perfect because we are having this uh, white background for our uh, social media buttons actually they are working right these are working buttons uh, uh, yeah but they are having these uh, white background so what i'll do is i'll uh, change the color of this canvas to white 
so i don't really know that how to do that so what i'll do is i'll open google and uh, again not subscribe <laughs> so uh what i simply type here is um, how to change canvas color in kinta okay and uh, okay so we are having a solution here bg is equal to okay so let's try this out and where is our canvas okay so here is our canvas let's uh, change uh, the background color uh, to uh, white let's say okay so uh, yeah this is working but uh, we also have to change the background of our uh, labels and this button also so we have to do that also and actually white is not the perfect thing actually so let's revert it back and let's think of another solution for this so let me save this and let's think of another solution for this so the only solution that i can think of is changing uh, the image or editing the image so i'll edit it and uh, okay so first uh zoom in a little bit so we have uh, so we are having these background which is white in color so what i can do is i can color this actually so let me add the color of our kinter gui okay okay so let's actually try if our facebook is looking good or not um no no no, no. this is a bit dark so let's go back again and uh, facebook uh, this is a bit dark so a more lighter shade of the same color so uh, actually this is good i guess where is my uh, program so let me compare it So I guess this should be good. A uh, a bit lighter. Okay, so yeah, I guess this should be good now. This should be good. Okay. So add to custom color. Okay. Let's color this. Let's save it. Let's run it okay so now our button is looking invisible now you can do the same to all these three buttons also and yep this was a short video in which i have shown you that how you can beautify your kinder ui but this is not it i am not satisfied with only creating a simple gui so what i'll try to do is i'll create a series of a uh, kinta advanced topics like how you can focus on one entry widget how you can create a canvas how you can create rectangles various topics uh, which can create a more professional looking gui we'll create in this uh, project series okay so you can just comment down below that what topics you want me to discuss or want me to create in this project series okay so this is it and i'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more okay so meet you there bye bye